Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly reading for the week starting March 19th, 2018. Remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way. Watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you and just keep an open mind, okay, and take it all in. Um, and then decide what applies to what resonates with you and what doesn't. At the bottom of the deck, as your overall energy, we do have the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, okay, for some of you, this talks about having that clarifying conversation, taking the bull by the horns, being completely honest in a situation, okay, facing your fears or facing how you really feel and telling someone how you really feel. Um, whether that is, you know, I really like you or, you know what, I, I don't want to do this. For others of you, this is a sense of victory, triumph, getting what you want. And you're getting the news of that um that could be you know you got the job you got the promotion uh excellent exam results test results anything like that okay whatever you've applied for i feel that communication is coming through that it is going forward um and for others of you i feel that you're making some choices during this time um it may be to do with um an air sign so gemini libra aquarius someone a rising sign or it may be to do with an idea that you have or a goal that you have okay where you say you know what this doesn't take me to my goal so no thank you i'm gonna go this way so you're making you're cutting something out because you're choosing something else okay for your career your finances your personal projects your studies your education we have the six of swords the six of swords here does talk about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel coming out of a difficult time coming out of a time of struggling hardship feeling like you're on your own, struggling to make ends meet because you got the job um, or you got the money, you got the loan, you got the grant, you got the mortgage. Um, and you might be looking at relocation as well with this energy, okay? Or you're investing because you got the loans or the mortgage that you've applied for now, you can afford to buy that house. For those of you, you're buying a car during this time or you're buying plane tickets during this time or ferry tickets. Um, or traveling over waters overseas or you're planning a trip um, because something was granted to you and now you can afford to do that okay um, for others of you this could be where you're making a cut in terms of you are leaving your job because you have a better one that is offered to you or this is finally handing in your notice okay saying okay actually I got a job I got a different job that was offered to me it's better I'm gonna take it this is my one week's notice one month's notice whatever the case may be okay and you're moving on you're moving forward towards something that is definitely better easier um, less stress less pressure better money better hours as well and maybe it comes with company perks or a company car um, this could also be something like getting a job as a teacher or a trainer, someplace where something where you have to be on the road a lot or online. Okay. For your home and family, we have the high priestess. So with the high priestess, again, this is about um, secrets that you have been keeping and now you're revealing them. So for example, you know, you haven't told uh, your family that you plan to quit your job. You haven't told your family that you hate your job. You haven't told your family that um, you're concerned about your health. You haven't told your family that you know you would like to uh, marry someone or you'd like to start a family or you're already pregnant, okay? Whatever the case may be, things that you've kept to yourself, I feel like this is the week where you speak the truth about it, okay? And you tell people what's going on. For others of you, I feel that this could even be about where you're moving together, you're moving in with someone and you haven't told your family about it, okay? So, or someone's been living with you, but then your friends and family don't know about it. Secrets are revealed during this time, whether you are doing the revealing or someone else is, but I feel that secrets are revealed. And with the Ace of Swords there, um, some people are going to be able to handle it and stay objective about it and other people might struggle with their emotion um, in which case there might be some tension or some conflict but the message with the high priestess and the ace of swords is that these secrets have been kept for long enough it's just time for them to be revealed okay 
um in your emotional life and love life we have the king of pentacles so with the king of pentacles in your emotional life and love life we have taurus virgo capricorn sun moon a rising sign energy whether this is a new person coming in someone that you have just started to talk to or someone you're talking to over the phone a lot online a lot or through emails um usually you know this would be something that's considered more direct communication okay um text as well okay and you're for some you're getting to know this person um it could be someone you meet through your work it could be someone you meet through school it could be someone you meet um that works in the financial field or real estate even health and well-being okay um and you're just getting to know each other i do feel that the both of you are very truthful with the things that you're saying to each other so this relationship is off to a good start okay for others of you i do feel that this is about cutting ties with a taurus whether this means you know what i'm not going to wait around for you anymore i'm moving on or this is giving someone an ultimatum okay you've got to do this and this and this or it's over um or this is about finally addressing something that you've had on your mind for a long time okay and you were afraid to know the answer maybe or it was just easier to keep it to yourself for whatever reason but you're having that conversation during this time and i do feel that you're thinking it will either make or break you but it's always better to know it's always better to know the truth it's always better to speak the truth because at least you know exactly where you stand okay so i feel that for some of you that is what is going on um and for others of you i do feel that this is about a divorce or or a a separation or a breakup okay where someone's moving out and you haven't told people yet okay but you might be looking at that during this time um and in your health and well-being we do have the three of pentacles so with the three of pentacles in your health and well-being i feel that this is talking to an expert getting the truth of a situation getting to the bottom of a situation uh tests okay needles laser blood tests um skin tests biopsies for some but i do feel that it works out okay it works out well there is you know things that they're asking you to do like you know following a treatment or um asking you to exercise more or asking you to change how you eat or anything like that okay but because there is something that you will start to work on um because something is revealed like i didn't know i had a problem with that i didn't know that i was at risk for that um or routine tests or anything like that and it comes up as you know what this is not a big deal now but if you want to prevent something this is what you can do okay that's how it's coming up um for others of you, I feel like this is to do with couples therapy that is happening during this time or family therapy that is happening during this time. But you are seeking expert counsel, expert advice on how to work together um, or how to heal, how to make things better, okay? Um, fertility treatments also coming up with this energy your overall guidance we have blue number 37 activate your healing power so i do feel that you're putting an end to a lot of things that are not healthy okay um and that's where the cutting sword comes in whether that is a person um a relationship a job an addiction i do feel that now you're deciding to focus on your health mind body and soul feeling healthy feeling happy um, for others of you, this is about healing a relationship, uh, getting back together, so reconciliations, and again, maybe that's why you're uh, going to therapy and investing in that. Um, healing your financial situation also comes up. There is an ending that is happening to a phase that has been difficult, and something gets a fresh start, something is healed, okay? Something is forgiven, something is healed, something is restored, rejuvenated. Uh, reborn okay during this time there's a fresh start that follows 
a time of struggle that is healing, okay, if that makes sense. Um, forgiveness is important here. Forgive yourself, forgive other people, and try to let go of what no longer serves you because you have much better things ahead of you that you need to be ready and open for, okay? So that is your reading. Um, I hope that and they're just pointing out that this is blue and blue has to do with the throat chakra and I'm actually struggling with my voice. So that means speak your truth. Don't keep those secrets because it's, it's eating you up inside and it's literally starting to affect your physical health. Okay. So for whoever that's for, I hope it helps. That's your reading. I hope that it makes sense that it helps you if you're dealing with these energies. Let me know how the messages apply if you are um, finding that they resonate with you and they describe what you're dealing with, your, what you're experiencing. Um, I do hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you for joining me and for all your support. I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.